నమస్తే స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ దట్ ఈస్ బెస్ట్ టెక్నిక్స్ టు స్టడీ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ పేపర్స్ ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ నో బడీ హ్యాస్ టోల్డ్ యూ అబౌట్ దిస్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ యూ టుడే హౌ టు స్టడీ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ పేపర్స్ మోర్ ఇఫెక్టివ్లీ సో దాట్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ మార్క్స్ బై సాల్వింగ్ at least only 10 years paper if you solve also you are going to score maximum marks for that only three points i am going to tell you only three points first point is very important remember cover the synopsis along with the question then what is the meaning of this how to cover the synopsis along with the question i will give you one example along with the example i will tell you for example see i have considered one chapter that is a solid state chapter i have taken of neat previous year papers right so i will show you the oh, techniques to read i told you first point is that cover the synopsis along with the question fine now how to solve this see just imagine i will take first question compound is formed by cation c anion a the anions are occupying hexagonal close packing let is a cations occupying 75% octahedral void the formula of the compound is the question is given like this so covering the synopsis along with this question means from this particular question we can come to know some important points what is that first thing is what is void so what is void if you don't know what is void you cannot solve this question hence what we will do you take out the ncert textbook or you can say some reference books read about wide detailed wide in detail then what is hexagonal close packing structure in hexagonal close packing structure what is the number of atoms so corner atom how many face center atom how many so all these things what is the formula of the compound see from the one particular question we have covered two to three points in the synopsis for example second question see formula of the nickel oxide with metal deficiency defect in its crystal ni 0.98 oxygen crystal contains ni2 plus and ni3 plus ion fraction of nickel existing as ni2 plus ion in the crystal is see we will solve this question later but what you have to do is see here one word we want metal deficiency defect then you take out the solid state chapter solid state and read metal deficiency defect what is the meaning of this along with the metal deficiency defect you read which is there before this and after this that is deficiency how this defects are there what is the schottky defect frankel defect metal excess defect metal deficiency defect f center example for these Uh, 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 metal uh, uh, this uh, uh, what you can say uh, ec- this uh, scottky defect and the frankel defect what type of ions can show such type of defects see by using one particular question we have covered so many points similarly you can take anything see lithium has bcc structure its density is 530 kg per meter cube is given atomic mass 6.94 is given right its length is they have given and they ask you to calculate its length fine but what you have to do here you can see so many things what is bcc first we will see what is the formula to calculate density so if density what they have given density and they can ask you to calculate edge length what we will do we will solve similar type of question by taking remember calculating density if edge length is given by calculating number of atoms if molecular mass is given calculating molecular mass or atomic mass if density is given see all these type of question will cover within this particular one particular question that is advantage with the physical chemistry numericals remember so like this if you solve any particular question you can take whatever the chapter you want i will take another chapter what is that so for example p block elements i got fine p block elements i got correct huh? so p block element you can see which is the correct thermal stability order for h2e so thermal stability order they have asked we know that along with thermal stability order for hydrides of the this is oxygen family correct group number 16 
So in the same, we are going to study the complete nature of hydrides. How? See, thermal stability is given. You take out the notebook or the textbook. So read that. What is the order for reducing nature? Acidic nature, boiling point, melting point, bond angle. All those things about this, the uh, hydrides of the element. So that you have covered the whole concept in this particular case. See, next. Match the xenon compounds in column 1 with column 2. Assign the correct code. The, when the question is given like this, don't think about only this question. Whatever it is given, fine. But you see, other xenon compounds, other xenon compounds, its hybridization, its structure, how many lone pairs of electrons are present in the center xenon, all these things we are going to discuss in this particular question. Like this, if you solve, remember my dear students, you can finish the complete chapter within 10 to 15 questions of previous year papers. Just fine, we will take one organic chemistry topic. So, organic chemistry topic, we will see. See, in this particular case, phenol chapter, I have taken alcohol, phenols and ethers. Fine. See, among the following four compounds, 2010, ask question, it is, among the following four compounds, what is the acidity order? You have seen this? Fine. What you have to do now? You take out the book. Then you see what all the factors affecting acidity of phenols. Not only phenols, alcohols also. Electron withdrawing group, what is the effect? Electron donating group, what is the effect? All these things when you study so that the complete acidic property of this will be completed. See, effectively you can finish the synopsis within 10 to 15 questions of any previous year. This is not the technique for only the NEET. I have taken one example of NEET questions, remember. But you can solve like this for JE or you can say oh, in, it may be in case of the oh, KCET or NEET, JE advance, any level of questions. It, you may be preparing for the IAS or KAS or it may, it may be for some bank exams. For all these, remember, because in all the cases there will be prescribed syllabus, correct? So hence, Definitely, if you study like this, you will cover the whole syllabus very easily without any problems. So, this is some examples I have given. Like this, you can give. You can see, you can open the any previous year questions. So, read that question more effectively so that you will get very good marks. This is the first techniques. Remember, for this particular, the uh, uh, techniques to study the previous year papers. Now, again, I will come back to the solid state chapter. Then the second point is that, see, second point is that, read the complete question. This is the main mistake what you are going to do in while solving the question. See, this is the point, remember, you have to follow this in the exam hall also. But in exam hall, generally what happens if the correct option is A? If you are 100% confident that A is the answer, then don't waste your time by seeing B, C, D options. But while solving the previous year papers now, you are not sitting in the exam hall. So remember, read the complete question. This is my second important point. Some examples we will give. See, for example, see, this particular point, mainly it will help in statement type of questions. Remember, now I will take one statement type of question, which is the incorrect statement. See, now we will read all the four. Correct? Density decreases in case of crystal with Schottky defect. NaCl is insulator. Silicon semiconductor. Silver is conductor. Quartz is physoelectric material. Frankel defect is favored in those ionic compounds which the size of the cation and anions are almost equal. Fe 0.98 has non stoichiometric metal deficiency defect. Like this, need 2017 question is given. Statement type of question. So, what we will do? First, we will see. Then we will start thinking density decreases. If you feel that it is correct, then you will select this answer and we will go to the next question. Don't do like this. Then you analyze. Density decrease in the case of crystal with Scott Key defect. Yes or no. Right? So, this is the one which is correct. Correct? So, density decrease in the Scott Key defect. Fine. But they are asking incorrect statement. NaCl is insulator. See, in this case, if you don't do insulator, study about that. Silicon is semiconductor. Silver is conductor. Quartz is physioelectric. If you don't know what is physioelectric, you study that concept also. See, in one particular statement, we have covered so many concepts. Then Frankel defect is favored in those ionic compounds in which size of the cation and anions are almost equal. 
So remember, then you start thinking about this. This should be the answer here. But not only this answer, this is also the answer, remember. Fe0.98 has non stoichiometric metal defect. So this is also the answer. So here C and D both are the answer. Fine. Don't worry about that thing. I am not discussing which is the correct answer. But what I am going to tell you is, so remember, Frenkel defect is given, right? So now you read about Scott key defect completely, Frenkel defect completely, what is non stoichiometric defect completely, and what is piezoelectric crystal, or any other examples are there for this piezoelectric crystal or not. All these things we will cover in this. So remember the advantage of the statement type of question while solving this particular, uh, you can say, uh, previous year questions is that we will cover so many concepts in the same question. Definitely there are some questions, it will, uh, here and there only one concept will be there. See, Frankel defect, see, this is also Frankel defect decreases density. See, when you read this, here you have covered the whole concept of this question. So that next time when you read this question, it will be very easy for you because already you have completed synopsis in this particular question. That is what I am going to tell you. So remember that is very, very important. So for example here, you can see <clears throat> number of, see, which of the following statement is not correct question is given. Number of carbon atoms in the unit cell of diamond is 8. The number of brevised letters in which crystal can be decatterized is 14. The fraction of the total volume occupied by the atom in a primitive cell is 0 0.48. So when the question is given, you completely read about this concept. What is brevised letters? How many are there? So how to remember those? All these things. Molecular solid is generally volatile. Is Volatile is given, correct? So now you take out the NCRT textbook. There it is given the complete uh, a table of the different types of solids. So read, complete all those things. So means in the same question you have completed so many options, remember. So very, very important. Second point is that read the complete question. And the third one and the last one, third one and the last one. So don't see the answer before you solve. It's a very, very important thing. When you are solving any question, remember previous year papers, don't see the answer before you solve. Generally our mindset is, how will be our mindset? See, I will read the first, this fifth question. In calcium fluoride having the fluoride structure, coordination number of the calcium ion fluoride is the given option is given. Fine. Now what we will do, we will start thinking that some students are very hurry burry that. So first they will see the option. Option. So for you, yes, C is the answer. They will not read the total. C is the answer. Then they will come back. Yes, C. Then how this C will be the answer? See, what is the mistake we are doing? Already the answer is fixed in your mind. Remember, answer is fixed in your mind. So then when you start thinking about this, most of the time your direction of thinking is correct. Remember, your direction of thinking is correct. But very important thing is, without seeing the answer when you go on solving this question, you may be wrong somewhere. Very important step is remember, you have to make some wrong things in the practicing paper only. You cannot do those mistakes in the uh, main exam, remember. For example, I will tell you, oh, if you practice well in the nets, remember, net practice, we will call it as in the cricket. In net practice, remember, you have to practice all type of shots. It may lead to some catches. It may lead to some four or six. See, but what is the thing is, if you hesitate to... Oh, play your shots in the nets, remember, definitely you are not a good batsman and you are going to fail in the main exam, that is main match. Remember, here what you are solving, this is not the main match what you are there. The main match is there on some exam day, that is the final day. But now today you are doing net practice, remember, this is the place where you can do the mistakes. Do your mistakes, finally, then you will come to know what is correct, what is wrong. Hence, remember, my suggestion is before going to see the answer, for example, generally this type of the numericals when it is there, what you will do before solving this, you will see the answer. How they have done this? Yes, they have done rho is equal to, that is density is equal to, z the atomic mass n into a cube, then you solve, yes. Then you will see 352, yes. Then you are going to solve, then you think that how this 352 you have to get. See, you will think that how this 352 you have to get, but that is not the way to read the question, remember. First you read the question, solve the question, you may come to the conclusion that 527 is the answer, but the correct answer is 352, don't worry about that. Then you see the answer. After once you solve, then you see the answer. If the answer is wrong, 
so then you will come to know where it is wrong why it is wrong in what way you have thought in the different direction which means in which way you have to think and in which way you have thought these things you will come to know in this case hence my dear students follow these three important techniques once again i will tell you first one is remember read so first one i am not getting yes here only it is there fine so first one is very important cover the synopsis along with the question second one read the complete question remember third one don't see the answer before you solve don't see the answer before you solve i hope this session will help you in preparing the competitive exams if you like the video so share to your friends subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed thank you my dear students have a good day